Hello, today it's me going to be taking to bits this battery which is on a RAID card so they're quite often LSI branded RAID cards also uh, branded as IBM I believe and I've got several of them because I bought several of the RAID cards with batteries and uh, the person that was selling them uh, obviously have old stock and these batteries are manufactured in 2010, 2010, and 2010, and none of them work. So uh, I got sent several replacements, and there's about a 50%, I'd say, failure rate uh, on these old batteries. So they arrive, and uh, no matter how long you leave them on charge, they just don't actually ever charge up. Uh, so the boards themselves are still good. So the board that plugs into, which then attaches with these standoffs and these screws onto the RAID card. Uh, I wonder if I've got a card. Yeah, there we go. So that's what the RAID card looks like. There'd normally be the PCI backplate on here. Uh, so it's not the correct thing because it uh, doesn't have the brackets, but that would normally be on there. That would be the card. And yeah, this uh, circuit board and battery attaches to the RAID card and is the battery backed up cache so that you can then turn on uh, caching on the card and it performs much quicker. But as I say, I have stacks of these batteries which have failed and uh, also several of these cards where the uh, electronic cards here is fine, it's just the battery, which is the problem. But I thought I was uh, keen to find out what's underneath the label on this, whether it's just a dumb battery, because basically, what's all this for? Why, why is there so much uh, circuitry and electronics on this card when you would have thought that the battery could plug just directly into the RAID card? Um, so if this is just dumb cells, and then this is the charge controller and handles uh, all of the how you know when to stop charging the battery and everything um, then that might make sense if this is just dumb cells so uh, let's take it to bits and find out if you're interested in part numbers this is IBM FRU so part number 43W4342 and I believe maybe the LSI part number uh, L3-250 Three four dash zero seven B. Let's just double check. Uh, two five three four. We've got zero seven C on this one, and also zero seven C. So uh, similar kind of part numbers, and the IBM part number stays the same throughout. And on the back, another LSI reference number, possibly LSI three one five zero three dash zero one revision A, and I'm not going to take the other ones off to find out what those are. So let's try to extract the label off of this. Uh, one of these, when you put it onto charge, I can't feel it now, but the entire battery pack puffed up only while it was on charge, then when it cooled down it went back to normal, but again, another sign that they've uh, definitely had it, these batteries. Well, let's try not to stab myself and draw blood. Oh, there, nearly did. Right, nearly done with half of the uh, sticker, so one edge of it, and then hopefully I can just peel it across the rest. I don't have to undo uh, the black bits of uh, tape on the other side, 
because they are very well stuck down. Right. Oh, there is circuitry in this. And pretty much what looks like a bare cell as well underneath that label. Oops, and some, uh, it's been stuck there for so long that the printing on the battery is coming off on the label that I'm peeling off. Right, and there we have it. That's the insides of one of these LSI or IBM batteries. Uh, it's a lithium cell and a circuit board. So this will have been on charge probably about three, four weeks ago. Uh, let's see if it's got any charge remaining in it. Focus down onto that. You know, it's a uh, one volt, maybe, if you're lucky. Uh, but the raid cards would sit there, you know, would sit there and make the battery warm. And as I say, in the case of one of these, the battery would actually puff up, and uh, it would still. Even a day later, you'd reboot the server and it wouldn't detect the battery. It'd just say no battery was present. And you take another battery and plug it in, and it's fine. So it's not the controller cards, it's just end of life batteries. So that's. Uh, Got it out. So it looks like it's probably quite easy to. Oh, it's got a temperature sensor as well. So it's probably quite easy to refurbish these batteries. You'd need to peel this off. You'd never be able to use that again. So you'd have to have your own sticker or, or whatever, or just tape it up and uh, desolder the battery here. And under this Captain tape, this yellow tape is a temperature sensor which is still attached to the board so yeah you could buy your own batteries which fit within this or possibly even upgrade the batteries to one with a, a longer capacity if you're at a place which is susceptible to having the power just uh, ripped out of the server without notice that's uh, interesting and uh, it does amaze me that there's all this circuitry which then plugs into yet more circuitry so what the heck does all this stuff do very strange anyhow i hope that's been interesting to you um if it has i would be really grateful if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my youtube channel you don't need to have the new video notifications switched on but the subscriber numbers really do help thank you very much